Armored Recovery Vehicle, Wikipedia Article Audio An armored recovery vehicle is typically a powerful tank or armored personnel carry a chassis modified for use during combat for towing or repair of battle damaged, stuck, and or inoperable armored fighting vehicles, such as tanks and armored personnel carriers. Most ARVs have motorized tracks, like a tank or bulldozer, enabling the ARV to operate on uneven ground. The term armored repair and recovery vehicle is also used. ARVs may have winches, jibs, cranes, and our bulldozer blades to aid in tank recovery. Typically, any specialized lifting and recovery equipment replaces the turret and cannon found on a regular tank. ARVs may in some cases have electric generators, blowtorches, chainsaws and fuel pumps to help with recovery operations, or spare parts, to facilitate field repairs. Some ARVs have a spade component to anchor the vehicle when it is towing or lifting. Since most ARVs are based on tank or APC chassis, they have an armored crew cockpit and engine, which means that ARVs can be operated in combat conditions. Rarely, an ARV may be armed, such as some M32s, which have an 81mm mortar for screening purposes, and the M88, which has a 50 calorie heavy machine gun. One WWII Sherman based ARV had a dummy gun installed where the turret would normally go. Early ARVs in WWII were often repurposed tanks, with the turret and cannon removed and replaced with some type of winch. In the 2010s, ARVs are generally factory built. Even so, ARVs often use a shared chassis that is used on an army's other fighting vehicles, as this facilitates repair and maintenance of the ARV. Some ARVs are operated in tandem with armored bulldozers. ARVs generally can only tow an equivalent class vehicle or one that is lighter in weight. As such, an APC chassis-based ARV can only tow and recover an APC, but not a much heavier tank. While most ARVs are made from R based on APC or tank chassis, more rarely, an ARV may be based on an artillery tractor chassis. Some ARVs have specialized equipment that enables them to operate on beaches or in shallow water. During World War I, some British Mark IV heavy tanks were fitted with jibs to produce salvage tanks, but the majority of their work was at the tank parks in aid of moving, maintaining, and repairing damaged tanks. The first true ARVs were introduced in World War II, often by converting obsolete or damaged tanks, usually by removing the turret and installing a heavy-duty winch to free stuck vehicles, plus a variety of vehicle repair tools. Some were also purpose-built in factories, using an existing tank chassis with a hull superstructure to accommodate repair and recovery equipment. Many of the latter type of ARV had an A-frame or crane to allow the vehicle's crew to perform heavy lifting tasks, such as removing the engine from a disabled tank. After World War II, most countries' MBT models also had corresponding ARV variants. Many ARVs are also equipped with a bulldozer blade that can be used as an anchor when winching or as a stabilizer when lifting, a pump to transfer fuel to another vehicle, and more. Some can even carry a spare engine for field replacement such as the German Leopard 1 ARV. ARVs are normally built on the chassis of a main battle tank, but some are also constructed on the basis of other armored fighting vehicles, mostly armored personnel carriers. ARVs are usually built on the basis of a vehicle in the same class as they are supposed to recover. A tank-based ARV is used to recover tanks, while an APC-based one recovers APCs. ARVs with a crane can be used to lift and place concrete fortifications in place and help with other battlefield engineering. Some combat engineering vehicles are based on ARVs. The following is a list of ARVs by country, either designer manufacturer or user. The Russian acronym BREM stands for Brown Air Van Air Riamont Mashina, literally Armored Repair and Recovery Vehicle. The British tested their first ARV designs in early 1942. The decision at the time was to focus on the Churchill infantry tank as the basis, but cruiser tank-based ARVs were also produced. When the UK received supplies of us medium tanks, first the M3, then M4 Sherman, conversions were made of these to operate alongside and so simplify support.